Hey, welcome to this week's episode of Topical English Vocabulary with Teacher Tiffany. I am excited about this week's lesson because I want to help you speak English fluently about a topic that you probably sometimes struggle speaking about, but it's a topic you are familiar with. The topic for today is the film industry. That's right. Movies, television. I want to help you speak English confidently about this topic. So I'm going to give you five English vocabulary words you need to know and understand in order to use them in real life during conversations about this topic. Now, before we dive into the very first English vocabulary word, I want to remind you, I am just giving you words that are directly from my email newsletter a free email newsletter that will help you improve your English vocabulary every day from Sunday to Friday. Every day from Sunday to Friday, you'll receive five new English vocabulary words about a specific topic. And this will help you not only learn new vocabulary, but retain the vocabulary words because they're connected to a topic. So all you have to do is go to www.dailyenglishvocabulary.com, enroll for free and start getting them sent to your email. The one that was sent out for today is the lesson that I'm going to be teaching you here on the video podcast and also the audio podcast. So now it's time to dive right into our very first English vocabulary word related to the film industry. Are you ready? Well then, I'm teacher Tiffany. Let's jump right in. Here we go. The very first English vocabulary word we have for today about this topic of film industry is cinematography. It sounded like I was going to sing, didn't it? Here we go. Cinematography. Excellent. We'll do it two more times. Cinematography. Good job. Last time. Cinematography. Excellent. Very good. Now, what does this refer to? Cinematography just refers to the art and technique of film photography and camera work. One more time. The art and technique of film photography and camera work. All of that put together, we call it cinematography. Wow, I enjoyed that movie. The cinematography was beautiful. The visuals, the camera angles, the way it was recorded, absolutely beautiful. I loved the cinematography. Makes sense, right? All right, here we go. Here's an example sentence. The cinematography in that movie was breathtaking. Every shot was beautifully composed. Next, she studied cinematography in film school and went on to become a renowned or famous director of photography. And finally, the film won an award for its innovative use of cinematography. You got it? Excellent. So the very first English vocabulary word you are learning today connected to the topic of the film industry. Again, it's cinematography. Excellent. All right, let's move on to the second English vocabulary word related to this topic. After me, screenplay. Good. Again, screenplay. Very good. Last time after me. Screen play. Excellent. All right. Now this term just refers to the script or written text of a film, including dialogue, actions, and screen descriptions, right? So think about before a movie is shot, before the actors start speaking, the director, the actors, the actresses, everyone comes together in a room and they review the screenplay, looking at the script, the things that the actors and actresses need to say, what's the dialogue, what's the focus, what's going to happen, what's going to happen in the background. Again, the screenplay, you got it? Excellent. All right, here we go. Let's check out the example sentences. The screenwriter spent months perfecting the screenplay before it was ready for production. You got it? Excellent. Here we go. The actor 
improvised some lines that weren't in the original screenplay. And finally, the screenplay of the movie was adapted from a popular novel. You got it? Excellent. So the second English vocabulary word related to the topic of the film industry is screenplay. Good. The first word, oh, you remembered, cinematography. And the second word, screenplay. Good job. All right, here we go. The third word that I want you to understand and know how to use is director. Good. Again, director. Great job. Now, the director just refers to the person responsible for overseeing the creative aspects of a film and guiding the actors and crew. This is the individual who is running everything, telling the actors and actresses where to grow, go, telling the crew where to be, de literally directing everything going on. This individual is the director. Make sense? All right, here we go. Here's the first example sentence. The director has a unique vision for the film and brings it to life through their direction. Next, she is a highly acclaimed director known for her artistic and thought provoking films. And finally, the director provided valuable feedback to the actors during rehearsals. You got it? Excellent. So again, the third English vocabulary word related to the topic of the film industry is director. Good. What was the first word? Cinematography. Yes. The second word? Screenplay. And the third word? Director. Excellent. Now let's move on to the fourth English vocabulary word related to the topic of film industry. All right. The fourth vocabulary word is genre. You like that? I'll do it again. Genre. <laughs> For those watching the video, you saw my face. All right. Let's do it one more time after me. Genre. Excellent. All right. Now, what is a genre? This word literally just refers to a category or type of film characterized by its theme, style, and storytelling conventions. A certain genre, right? Again, a category or type of film. There's the horror genre, the romance genre, right? The mystery or thriller genre. Again, a category or type of film characterized by its themes, style, and storytelling conventions. You got it? Excellent. All right, so let's check out the example sentences. Here we go. I enjoy watching films of various genres, from action to romance to sci-fi. One more time. I enjoy watching films of various genres, from action to romance to sci-fi. All right, now let's move on to the next example sentence. The film falls into the comedy genre with its witty dialogue and humorous situations. And finally, the last example sentence. The genre of the movie can often give answers, excuse me, the genre of the movie can often give viewers an idea of what to expect. One more time. The genre of the movie can often give viewers, those watching, an idea of what to expect. Make sense? All right, here we go. So again, the fourth English vocabulary word about this topic of the film industry, the fourth word is genre. So what was the first word? Cinematography. Second word? Screenplay. Third word? Director and fourth word, genre. Excellent. All right, now we're going to move to the fifth English vocabulary word related to the topic of the film industry. The fifth English vocabulary word is soundtrack. Good. Again, soundtrack. 
Excellent. Now, this just refers to the music and audio elements accompanying a film, enhancing its atmosphere and emotional impact. Once again, the music and audio elements accompanying a film, enhancing its atmosphere and its impact. Now, you heard that music just start in the background, right? That's the background music I use when my podcast starts, right? Now, for those watching, I'm doing a little dance, right? But again, this is my background music, the soundtrack of my podcast, right? So soundtrack just refers to the music that's playing in the background while a movie is being watched, right? If something gets a little bit intense, maybe it's dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All of a sudden, you get this tense feeling. The soundtrack, the music and audio elements accompanying a film. Makes sense, right? All right, here we go. So the first example sentence. The soundtrack of the movie perfectly captured the mood of each scene. You got it? Next, the composer created a memorable soundtrack that became iconic in the film industry. And finally, the soundtrack received critical acclaim for its originality and emotional depth. You got it? Here we go. So again, the fifth English vocabulary word you need to know related to the topic of the film industry is soundtrack. Yeah? All right. What was the first word? Cinematography. Excellent. Second word. Screenplay. Good. Third word, director, excellent. Fourth word, genre, excellent. And fifth word, soundtrack, very good. Now, what we're going to do right now is you are going to listen to a paragraph that I am going to read, which includes each of these five English vocabulary words that are related to the film industry. Now you know the meanings of the word, right? These words, you know their meanings. Now listen to how they're used in a real life situation. Here we go. As a college student studying cinematography, you are delving into the captivating realm of the film industry. Cinematography involves the art and technique of film photography and camera work, bringing visual storytelling to life. The screenplay sets the foundation for captivating narratives while the director shapes the film's tone, style, and performances. Exploring different genres broadens your understanding of storytelling techniques. The soundtrack adds depth and emotion, enhancing the atmosphere and leaving a lasting impact on the audience. By studying these elements, you will develop the skills necessary to excel in cinematography. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually really enjoyed reading that. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed listening to it. But you see that all of the words were inside of the paragraph. Each word that you learned today were found in that paragraph. So again, the purpose of these lessons is to help you be able to speak English fluently and with confidence about with confidence about various topics. Today's topic again was the film industry. Now you have five English vocabulary words. You have cinematography, screenplay, director, genre, and soundtrack to add to your database of vocabulary words, your English database. I want you to continue improving your English. I'll talk to you in the next lesson, but don't forget to check out the next email. Go to www.dailyenglishvocabulary.com.